welcome back to my channel this is is good to talk and we are still working on the mechanical drawing of y 2022 and we have answered question a of this um mechanical drawing so which says that we should draw the sectional front elevation on plane tt so we are done with that so what i want to do right now is to answer question b how we have to construct we have to draw a sectional end elevation on plane mm so let's look at where the cutting plane is on the uh, given diagrams so this is cutting plane mm so this part is cut and as we have the arrow pointing this direction is pointing in this direction so that means this part is removed i want to see what we have here so as we have done it in the uh, other part in which we place the uh the front elevation of the cap on the base here so we are also going to uh assemble the same thing so as we have instructed that we should uh draw, make the assembling and also draw the sectional uh front elevation and also the same thing applies to that of the end elevation that we are to do here so what we need to do is that we are looking at the object in this direction and it has been cut off so we are going to make some distance from here to here so which is 70 millimeters so distance from here to here from here to the center is uh 35 from center here to the end here is 35 and also the thickness of the web as we have here is 12 millimeters which we are going to put in the end elevation though it's going to be hidden so let's look at how that uh, where we are going to do that so the first thing i need to do is to uh, uh draw a vertical line here just move away a little bit just a little so i will draw a vertical line here so from here so from here down okay so from here down like this okay then i will take a measurement of um first of all i will take 35 so this is 35 then i will take another 35 here making it 70 so here i'm going to draw a center line here so i draw a center line here okay so this is the center line Okay, then I will make this, so make draw a vertical line here. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is to transfer all these uh, distances here. So I'm going to start with the uh, with the circle. So if I, um, okay, by the time we cut it, by the time we cut it, we are going to see, so let me show you what we are going to see. By the time we cut it, oh, sorry, so by the time we cut it like this, so we are going to see uh, this hole, though it will be half of it, to be half of it that we are going to see. So that's why I need to draw a uh, horizontal line from the end of this circle to here, and the same thing from here. So I will draw a horizontal line from here to here, like this. Okay, so, um, so I want to be bringing out what we are going to see. So uh, once so that i will not be um okay all right so this is going to be a thick line this will be a thick line so this will be a thick line so i'm going to make this line thick at once and this will also be a thick line like this okay so this will be a thick line Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to put here, uh, also this line will be a thick line. This line will be a thick line. So it will be a thick line because it is the edge, edge in this direction. So the edge in this direction. So we are going to see it. So it goes from here like this. So uh, from here, so like this. So we are going to see it. So I'm going to make this line a thick line here. So this will be a thick line. All right, so also this line will be a thick line here. So this will be a thick line. And also this line will be a thick line. Be a thick line down. And this will also be a thick line. So having done this, so the next thing I'm going to put here is to put the, uh, the bolt here too. 
to put the boat here so what i need to do um <clears throat> so what i need to do here i need to transfer so this point i need to transfer it i need to transfer it into the end elevation so i'm going to draw the line from here like this and i will also um so draw from here like this okay so from here i will draw like this and also so this will be i will also draw this okay so then i need to transfer so this washer also you are going to see it in the end elevation and also so this part i need to transfer it here but there's going to be a change when it comes to uh so let me bring it here for us to see it clearly very well okay so all i need to make use of from here so i can see them so i don't have to uh show the whole uh view of the front elevation so let's put the uh the boat there so first of all i will work on the washer so the washer as we have is the length of the washer is 22 millimeters and thickness is 2 millimeter which i've already taken from here so i just take 11 to the left and 11 to the right side here so then i'm going to make this so this will be a thick line like this and this will also be a thick line to be a thick line and also i'm going to make this a thick line like this okay so let's put the head of the boat so um you need to uh pay attention to what i want to say here so unlike here that we can see three parts of the hexagonal head of the knot i'm sorry of the boat so now we are looking at it in this direction we're only going to see uh two parts so just look at the way i'm going to do what we need to do is to uh take our compass so we take the compass um so take the compass but before that i want to make sure i draw this line so so that i can touch uh this part just look at what i want to do here so i need to extend this line so then so you take this distance from here to here along this vertical line so from here to here so this is this distance that you have to take so you take this distance so take this distance like this so this is how you have to take it just take it here okay so then you put at this point so you make an arc here and you make an arc here like this okay so what we are going to do now so i'm going to draw so a vertical line here okay so i'm going to draw a vertical line here all right then i need to bring out the shape so i need to bring out the curve on the edge here as we have in the front elevation so i'm going to use my uh, french curve to do that as you can see so this a bit um that is a, a fillet here. So I will also use this to create the fillet. Alright, so this is how it's going to look here. So I made this a thick line. This will be a thick line. This will be a thick line. This is what we are going to see in the end elevation. Okay. So this is how it will look in the end elevation. So I believe you can see what I've done here. It's very simple. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. Um, the next thing that we are going to do is to uh, make the boat to be here. So we are going to create the other part of the boat. So as we have that, the, um, the boat is... 12 millimeters thick so 12 millimeters thick okay so this is 12 millimeters so and i will take one millimeter in one millimeter in here and one millimeter in here so 
then I'm going to draw a vertical line on each of these points. So I'll draw a vertical line here. Here I will draw a vertical line. Okay. So here also I will draw a vertical line here. And here I will draw a vertical line. Like this. Okay. So I believe you can see what I'm doing. So I need to create something like this around here. So which I've already uh, done here. So I need to transfer this down here. Okay. So um, so this part. So the the the, the boat is going to be hidden in the in the end elevation. So it's going to be hidden there in the end because because by the time we cut it and we remove this, so we cannot see the boat inside the object except its head that is out of the object so that's the reason why i have this here so now so i'm going to um so this is going to be drawn with short dashes line like this and this also will be drawn with short dashes lines you just need to take your time Okay, so and then so this will be drawn. All right, so I believe you can see what I'm doing here. So the next is I will make this a short dashes line, and this also will be drawn with short dashes line. Okay, so here now. So the curve that we have here, so we'll be drawn with short dashes line. I'm going to use my hand to do that. Okay, so I've gotten what I need. So the next is all right, so then um so all these parts be drawn with short dashes line because it is hidden in the end elevation so the role of this is hidden in the end elevation that's why i'm using short dashes line Um, okay, so this also will be drawn with short dashes line. So I believe you can see what I'm doing here. Okay. All right. So then, another thing that will be hidden here is the web. Is the web. So the web will also be hidden. I have to draw this like this. I also have to draw it like this. So and then this part also will be hidden. Be drawn with short dashes line. Like this. Okay. So so the next thing that we are going to do is the web. So the web is here. So by the time we cut this off, we cannot see the web to be hidden from us. So it be and also it's at the center. So that means what I'm going to do is that so the thickness of the web is also six millimeter and the height of the web is twenty. Uh, is, okay, it's twenty five millimeters. Sorry, it's twenty five millimeters from. So it is from here. So from here, so it is twenty five millimeters. So we already have the line. So all I need to do, and then we already have the line here. So it is twelve millimeters. It's going to coincide with uh, with this. So which is already twelve millimeters already. All I need to do is to make this with short dashes line okay so they are going to be together with the thickness of the, the thickness of the boat okay all right so that's what we have there. So the next thing that we are going to do 
is that we also um, so we are going to have a line a line here so um, I'm going to have a line here in the middle so I'm going to see that line so this will be drawn with a thick line to be drawn with a thick line so then we are going to arch the surface we are going to arch the surface so with our 45 degrees square, squared so uh, the whole of this part here will not be hashed because there is it so it will be the uh, is around here so the cutting plane does not touch this part so we are going to leave it empty so by the time I place this by the time I place uh, this part I place this part so I play the, place it on this so this space this part will be left on hash and this part will be left on hash and that is what we have from here down here so in the cap in the front elevation of the cap or in the end elevation of the cap I'm only going to arch this part here Okay. So I want you to see it. That's why I didn't pause the video. So let's see it together. Okay. So and also for the part below here. So as I said, we are going to arch in another direction. You cannot arch both of them in the same direction because they are two parts that are being laid on each other. If you ask them in the same direction, you are wrong. You are wrong and you are going to be penalized for that. So when two parts are laid, are, are placed on each other, and you have to produce a section now view of that uh, object, so you need to ask them in different direction. You need to ask them in different direction. And that's what I'm doing here. And I've done this several times. So... I've said, made this statement several times. You have to arch them in different direction, as I'm doing here. Okay, so the action will cover that part. Okay, so we're almost done. All right, so the last part is this. So, all right, so this is how the end elevation on cutting plane MM we look. So as simple as I've shown it here, all you need to do is to practice. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening. Keep on practicing and God bless you.